Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Chris. We're getting ready for our fifth game of the season. Running back Cameron Harris is out here training. He's not satisfied with that 108 yard rushing performance last game. We've got to work on the running game, but I don't want it to overwhelm us with all the things we're doing in the passing game. So anyways, we're getting ready for our fifth game of the season. Appreciate everyone's support. Hit the like button and be sure to drop a comment if you have any suggestions or comments. And I just want to get right into recruiting for a few minutes before we get ready for our next game. Again, Thad Franklin's our number one target running back. We're trailing Florida State. Uh, he's close. Uh, it's really just going to be a two-team race. Anthony Hudson, we're in the lead there. Again, 96 speed. We like that. Although his catching is only a 62. Austin Joseph, five-star quarterback. We're leading there. I like our chances with Austin Joseph. We definitely need to go ch check him out soon. Corey Hammett making a move there only trailing Marshall I like our chances there as well so this is a big one Lawrence Seymour we move up to second place we pass Alabama and all we have to beat now is Central Michigan so we just need to stay out in front with the Miami Central uh, Hurricanes commit uh, but I again I like our chances we scheduled a visit with him we're going week 13 I'm glad we got a visit that's the big thing with all these guys right now so again Hammett coming week 10 Week 10 is our big one. That's when we play Florida State. So we're making that a big one. Austin Joseph's not ready yet. But again, I feel good about him. And we're going to go watch him play soon. Anthony Hudson, again, week 10. Thad Franklin, week 10. Definitely want to do Thad because it's Miami-Florida State battle for him. So just kind of going back through these guys. Again, Perry George, number one defensive end in the country. We're getting so close to a visit. We've got to cross that line right there. But I feel like we'll get one of his visits. Um, we're sitting in third right now. Again, we've got to stay on him. A guy out of Florida that we need to stay with. And Michael McLaughlin, big news out of him. We move up and we get his fifth and final visit. We are taking a, we are making a late push. You see, we cranked up the points. We are going to try to make some moves with Michael McLaughlin there. And uh, again, I, I'm optimistic, so hopefully it works out. Again, we drop points on Nick Hefner because we've got such a big lead, almost 2,000 points. Same way with Borregales. I like our chances there. Again, all these updates are coming from the last recruiting episode. Again, if you guys haven't seen that, I go live streaming on Thursdays and uh, we just break down recruiting um, and go full in depth with all these guys. And this is the result. So Khalil Brantley, we go up in points there. Uh, we're going to, we're going to, again, we're going to try to make that push. Whereas Tyler Johnson, I don't feel as good about. And I know there's a Jermaine Campbell fan out there, so I want to see if we can get some more points there. I like his potential. So I'm good with that. Again, Tim Burns. We're just going through all these guys real quick. So Tim Burns visited. We didn't get the commit we were looking for, but we've got a huge lead, uh, 3,000 points. I feel like he's going to commit at any moment. So I like that. Alfred Brock, again, shout out to the, to the fan that, that likes to what Alfred Brock brings to the table. He's got good acceleration. Scouting him as a Juco guy, we're going to move him up because I like him as well. So we've got to stay out of Florida and Florida State on that one. So again, it started to shape out pretty good for us. It was a little dicey early on with recruiting. Your guys' help has been uh, super beneficial. So definitely shout out to all you guys for showing your support, not just to the channel, but you guys want to see Miami do well and you're helping with recruiting and and that's that's great we've got so many guys helping out with recruiting we need all hands on deck it's almost like uh you guys are part of the staff which which i absolutely love because that's how it works in with a real college football program you've got a lot of people helping out with recruiting so again some quarterbacks again paul ricks is a guy that uh that was recommended you know put some more points on him you're missing on him they like the the ac accuracy I think it was like an 83, um, which is pretty good. And again, I liked him, but I, I like Austin Joseph. I don't know if we're going to take two. Again, we still have Tyler Van Dyke on the roster. Miami's excited about him. And I don't know what we're going to do next year. You know, do we go in the Kosi Perry? Do we go with Tate Martell? Still on the roster, Tyler Van Dyke. Those are our three quarterbacks. Or do we go with a freshman, Austin Joseph? Again, or Paul Ricks, JB Drew. These are the three quarterbacks we're going after. And the thing is... With Austin, I feel like the playing style is good. Again, that's that scrambling quarterback. His passing accuracy is not great, but I love that he's a five-star quarterback. Maybe we can open up some things in Ohio. And also with Paul Ricks. Again, let's take a look at him. Yeah, it's that throw accuracy, 
throw power, those are good attributes. Again, how he popped up on our board was right when we started the recruiting uh, board, Paul Ricks was the guy that liked Miami without even recruiting him. So there's already a good base with him, even though he's out of California, not a local prospect. But because he's a quarterback, I'm good with cranking up his points. We need to figure out a way to to gather some more points, uh, take some away. I'm, I'm going to start with Chad Boyd. Again, Just a, I think he's just a two-star linebacker. But um, it's more so that we got the big lead. Uh, he had like a really high acceleration, so he might be a, a really fast linebacker, which I like. Even if he's not going to be a starter, be great on special teams. So again, Rob Wilson was a tall D end. Only a 70 overall right now. I haven't fully scouted these guys at the bottom. So I don't really know how exactly how good they are. But one thing is, because everyone else is going really slow with them, I feel like we're okay if we are going slow with them as well. And again, Matt Ferris has some quality uh, attributes at linebacker that we like. Um, so he's potential, again, four-star linebacker. So he's got potential there. But I'm going to take some points and just kind of see if we can figure this out again hopefully we, we start getting closer to adding on more points very close to doing that and again because quarterback's such a high priority i'm good with doing that again lee bass with a 6-6 receiver let's see if we can get paul ricks and see you know what kind of want to see yeah again with tyler johnson we're trailing by so much um and i i know he's a miami commit and I, I know he's there's a lot of excitement there jaquan johnson's younger brother and the whole thing but I feel like a little bit we have got to be a little smart with it and because we're trailing by so much I'm gonna try to take that down a little bit again four-star quarterback JB Drew we're gonna have to keep scouting him and see how that comes back but 6 3 2 20 says he's a scrambler so that could be a good combination and again a lot of these scrambling quarterbacks the big thing is that throw accuracy you need that um, you need that to be at a decent amount. And I think the thing with Joseph that you like, because he's a five-star, you're hoping, even though it's only a 75, you're hoping that builds up quickly. Maybe he comes in in red shirts, and then maybe he's at 80. Maybe it goes up that much, and now you're, you have something to work with a little bit. So that's the thing there. Again, we've got to get this win. Again, undefeated so far. Close games. Georgia Tech's not going to be easy. But I like our chances. We're, we feel like I feel like we're making moves, kind of each time. But first, real quick, I want to show you guys the seven guys that have um, visited. I forgot to show you guys that there's seven guys that we've scheduled visits with. Just want to recap again. Make sure you got again. A lot of them are coming week ten when we play Florida State. Franklin, Hudson, Hammett. Those are three right off the top. Seymour's coming in week thirteen. I like that to get a later visit. McLaughlin week thirteen as well. Again, Tim Burns just visited. And Matire, we're getting ready to... We're, we took points off because he decommitted. And essentially, we're going to drop him. This is the original plan. So, But we lead for him now, so who knows how that's going to shake out. So here it is, guys. Miami versus Georgia Tech. 4-0. 1-0 in the ACC. We need a win. Playing at home. Again, Georgia Tech's an interesting team because... Obviously, when the game was made, they were a heavy run, uh, a heavy run team. However, they're they're transitioning off of that. So I'm gonna be be honest. I don't know exactly what to expect. I looked at their stats a little bit before the game. I'm gonna break one with Knight. One of these times, I'm gonna be able to get him, get him out there. Again, De'Ara King, 340 and three touchdowns, having another good game. I feel like. You know what, guys? I feel like I'm talking so much about the run game because it is such a huge priority. Real quick, though. Look who our left tackle is, guys. Can you see? I'm going to get back to the run game. I wanted to go deep the first time. That could have been an interception. Okay. That didn't work out the way we wanted to. I'm trying to just go big this time. Stop playing around with everything. But again, number... Did you see who the left tackle was? Let's look again. Yep, that's number 54, Isaiah Walker. We just got him on campus. We got him enrolled. All the paperwork is final with the NCAA. He was able to get a waiver, and now he's in our game. He's starting at left tackle. We're excited about that. The Florida transfer is going to make an immediate impact for the Hurricanes. I know you guys are excited about Isaiah. You don't have to wait till 2021 when he plays against Alabama. He's making his Miami debut 
today against Georgia Tech. Okay, I. He's gonna try and scramble. Oh, did he catch it? Oh man, I'm <laughs> I'm getting a little creative. That improviser. That's that face of the franchise improviser strategy. That run and gun. Shout out to all you guys who are following along on that series. Okay, but again, I'm excited about Isaiah. I need to make sure I'm making smart plays out here. Get there. There we go, Harley. So what I was saying earlier with the run game, I'm placing a huge emphasis on it because I know it's not good enough, and I, I want to be better at it. Um, again, and one of the reasons, not just for having a more balanced team, not just because of Thad Franklin, need to impress him, but I, I just like to run the ball. I believe strong in, in running games. Um, I am not, that is not getting it going. Again, 108 yards last game for Cameron Harris. You saw him on the beach working out. However, I don't want to over overdo it in the sense that I don't want it to take away from the positives that are going on with our offense. De'Ari King has got, he's got to be getting close to the, being in Heisman contention. There we go, and I'd like to run it a little bit more, a little bit more with him. However, the positives are, I'm doing pretty good on completion percent. I'm able to get some chunk yardage in the passing game, 15, 25 yard passes. Occasionally, is that a? Oh, that's got to be a first down. But one thing I'm most uh, excited about with our offense. Obviously, Derek's been really good, but I've been balancing it out with the receivers. And you guys remember that first practice before the season started? I talked about how Miami doesn't have a go-to receiver. Let's get out there. I want to run this. Oh, I was trying to. It's being risky. I'm trying to get out of bounds. Angle of that. I, I thought I was out of bounds, but then I take a big hit. So I got to be careful there. But again, Jeremiah Payton started off really strong. D. Wiggins had that three touchdown game. Mark Pope has had some big catches. Mike Harley's been solid. So our top four guys have been good. I've been very pleased with the, the depth of it here. And again, Brevin Jordan. I want to. Okay, I'm moving Parrot here just because I want to get a better run, get that blocker. I want him to latch onto that blocker there at the end. But the the other thing is Brevin Jordan. He's been really good in spots. Again, we changed the playbook. This is the second game with the new playbook. I'm still getting used to it. Figuring out what'll work best. Oh my goodness, I didn't see anybody open. I did not see anybody open. I threw it late, third and nine. This is big for us. Again, we're inside the red zone, facing a third and nine. I want to go for the end zone. There we go. Get across. There we go. Nice. Run and gun. Hashtag run and gun. I like that. That's exactly what he does for face of the franchise. I have faith in his ability to run it. I just have to be careful so he doesn't take a big hit. But, yeah, that's a big play there. Again, I need to be good on third down. That was third and nine. I'm calling time out here because I saw him as a red star, and I feel like, what are we at? We're at the eight. I just, I don't want to settle for field goals. I want to make sure he's as full strength as possible. I was hoping he would get a little bit better, but at least it wasn't that dark red. So and that's because of that heavy usage, usage on this drive. Let's see if I can get, I'm going to do a read option here. Oh, he's in. Yep. Nice. Touchdown. I like it. That's exactly what we need to do with our run game. It's a little risky, but I love that play. It's tough to read that end. I'm not going to lie. Just because you, you have a split second to either hand off or, or keep it. That was a good decision. I like that. 12 play. That was a grind, guys. Shout out for you guys for all your support on this first drive. 12 plays, 73 yards, capped off by a touchdown. We had a, completed a big third down. Again, the positives that we got going on with the team. That's what I'm going to focus on. Hopefully that's what you guys are focusing on. I mean, seriously, we're up to 13th in the country. We're making moves in recruiting. I feel like I'm getting better each week. And hopefully those are the things you guys are looking at. Yeah, not every game is going to be 50-0, okay? 
That's just what it is. I want to make a change real quick before I forget. A defensive tackle. I want to get uh, get Miller in there. Again, we've just been kind of rotating, giving you guys a different look with different guys. But I want to get Jordan Miller in. He's actually the most the highest rated guy, I think. But uh, yeah, I know you guys are Jordan Miller fans. We want to get him in there. Again, Silvera's out for the season, and just kind of mixing different guys in. And again with Georgia Tech and their offense. I'm a little curious to see how it goes because I feel like they're not going to be that traditional run. Okay, I don't know what that was, but defense celebrating. First time we're wearing the all orange uniforms. I go black socks, black shoes there. Mixing it up. Again, if you guys have an idea of what you want to see as a jersey combination, drop it in the comments. I'll read all of those. That could have been caught. Defense looking solid. And just kind of, again, going with this 3-3-5 right now. We're third and facing the third and 10. I thought about putting Rousseau at, uh, at the middle at that tackle spot and bringing in Phillips. That's good defense right there. That's a good that's a good opening drive. This is a good quarter. First few minutes of the game. Get a touchdown. Get a good stop on defense. Smith will be the return man. Let's see if we can get a decent return. Punt returns a little harder than kick returns. Yeah, there's just just not a lot not a lot but i'll take the 11 yards so anyways i forgot to mention so you see right there miami we're ranked 13th in the country well we moved up from 16 so we've kind of been steady so it's an 18 16 13. i don't know if we can crack the top 10 with this win but that's going to be the goal again i'm mixing these guys up here calling some audibles going hot routes Yep, got him. There we go. I like that play. Again, and, and if you guys have been watching, you probably noticed that, again, that's why I was okay with switching up the playbook. I tend to call a bunch of plays and just, I wouldn't say just figure it out, but. Okay, we got, got that spin move there, but I, I don't like to play. Maybe, I know you guys, I know other players like to get a go-to play and just like, hammer that out i know that's really popular when you play online against people um i just it, it's okay i i just prefer to mix it up i want to go as versatile as possible mix up a bunch of different plays and execute each play that's called okay we're gonna run this we gotta get out there there we go that's what i want to do earlier but yeah that's a clean 17 yard run get out of bounds nice 35 yards and got that touchdown Okay, here we are again. Inside the red zone, we've got to get a touchdown. Get that block. Oh, I need to get on the outside of that block. That's not where the play was designed to go. That's not good. Again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna stress about the run game. There we go. Mark Pope. I've been really impressed with Mark Pope, man. Like, he's just makes these tough catches. Hopefully, it's a sign of things to come with him. Was not able to get much of a gain there. We got second and goal here. Let's see if we can find a way to get this in the end zone. Oh, my goodness. Look like a corner blitz. That's tough. I didn't see anyone quite open. Again, taking the hit, not want to do that, but Derek's a tough guy. He can handle a hit. Third and goal from the nine. I want to get these I want to get these uh this flood route going. See if I can get guys dragging across. Roll out a little bit. Now he's scrambling. Oh, he's open. Oh, I had the right idea. I did, I promise. I had the right idea. 
I just couldn't execute it, but yeah, circle, circle, whoever that was, uh, came free right in the end zone. Oh, I wanted that touchdown. That's okay. We'll take this field goal. There we go. There we go. I like it. 10-0. I would have loved a touchdown there. We're making some positive things happen, though. Yeah, let's keep this thing going. I like this start. This is good. We've had some slow starts this season. Oh, my goodness. We've had some slow starts, but this is a good one for us. But I know. Guys, I know. I know. It's a four-quarter game. It's not how you start. It's how you finish, right? That's such a tough play. Marquez Ezard. So you remember him? Former Hurricane. Transferred to Georgia Tech. He's eligible to play this year after sitting out last season. He's looking to have a big impact for the Yellow Jackets this year. Georgia native. And obviously, you know, if you guys followed recruiting. What the heck? Oh my. You gotta be kidding me. What in the heck was that? What in the world? Tobias is killing our... Dude, he just ran through our whole squad. I really don't know what happened. I thought it was a regular run. Are they going to replay that? I need to see exactly what happened. Yeah, I'm not going to watch the replay, but if it showed up, I was going to see that because I do not know how he scored that. Okay, anyways. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this sequence here, but anyways, uh, yeah, with Ezra, we, he, if you followed recruiting, you knew about him. If you only pay attention to the team and didn't really pay much attention to recruiting, you didn't know about him because he didn't play. And he wasn't, uh, he redshirted, didn't do much. Um, and then, yeah, he transferred after the year. Again, taking what the defense gives you. I know, I know it's way more fun to go 75-yard bombs every play, but we got to set some of this stuff up. Again, I like to call plays and just kind of execute them, try to pick out who's open. There we go. Jeremiah Payton. I like it. That's what I want to try to do. I'll go over the top when I can. When I see there's a chance, again, I wanted to switch that off and, and get them to go deep. I thought there was an opportunity there. You know, one thing I think that's helping me, other than Brevin Jordan, hold on, I want to make sure I get this play right. Get there, there we go. Yeah, other than Brevin Jordan, you know, with the receivers, I'm not trying to force anything to anyone. And I think that's a good thing for me this season. Not that I wouldn't love to have a go-to receiver, don't get me wrong. But what I'm saying is, sometimes when you're force-feeding a receiver could start throwing some really bad passes and I really am just trying to spread the ball around and make it as good a place as possible and certainly guys I know you guys are gonna drop in the comments right now I know I've missed some plays I know there are some plays I'd like to have back but again it's just about moving forward one game at a time I know that sounds that is so cliche but that's where we're at right here again Mixing the ball up. D. Wiggins, he had that three touchdown performance earlier this year. He's playing big this game. 10 for 15 for King, that's good. But we've got to get in the red zone. We've got to get in the touchdown. What the? Oh my goodness. I don't know if he should have caught that, but definitely could have been interception too, so. Okay, 10 to 7. Again, in control. We're moving the ball every time we get it. We don't want to keep getting down here and getting field goals, though. Got those setup plays. I'm a huge fan of those. I think they could be very helpful. So we're going to see how this goes. Oh, my goodness. I saw the linebacker coming, but I, I did not see a receiver open. Okay. 
I don't want to force it. I want touchdowns. Man, I love that play. That's a good touchdown. That one gets me excited because I want to run that more often. But it's also a way where he can get lit up. So I don't, that's one reason why I don't run that play very often. But I like this scramble stuff that I've been able to do on the perimeter. Oh my goodness. Did I? Oh, I saw him. I think I was a little late on that. I think it was a touch late because I thought the opening was there. I thought I could fit it in there. We got to settle for another field goal, but we got to make this here. Yeah, that's in there. Yep, there we go. Okay, again, I love touchdowns, but we got to get our points there. The key is not to turn the ball over down there. Again, stay out in front, stay with the lead. But yeah, I thought I had that touchdown right in the end zone. But that's okay. So here we are. We're in the second quarter, 13-7 to seven lead. Feeling good about it. I do not know what happened on that last play with the quarterback. Get the linebacker in. Oh, we got to finish that. There we go. And again, one of the reasons that makes it tricky with Georgia Tech, not knowing completely what to expect with their option game. And the reason why I say that, because... They have a new system right now. So is this actually the 2020 playbook or is it back from 2014? And they are doing a lot of runs. And he's taken down at the Finishing yard. those off. That's good. Got to keep stopping the run. But but against option uh, option teams, you've got to be really careful. From their own make sure. I mean, I know it's exactly. But you got to make sure everyone's on their assignments. Just sticking in zone can be a little tough. Third and 12, though. Finish that. There we go. Jordan Miller, nice play. Man, he's a big dude there, 91. With that celebration. Had that good celly. Okay, here we go. Smith is the deep man awaiting the return. Let's see if we can't get something. Smith fields it at the 34, and he's taken can't down get at nothing the going there. I'm going to mix that up. I'm probably going to make a switch there at punt returner. We'll finish off this game, but yeah. Momentum swings have been I always like when defensive players are returners. I feel like we haven't seen that very much at Miami lately. Let's see if we can get this power run. No. I don't like that. Let's go Brevin. There we go. Again, been working on my audibles. I set those up again. I did that with the new playbook. That's just a simple crossing route on those audibles there. Again, I went with this playbook because I wanted to make sure Brevin was out there more often. That's a good play by Pope. And again, I, I can put Brevin, um, even when you audible him, he can slide out to receiver. I'm good with that. I just need him on the field. And, and earlier, there was just, because I do hurry up, and uh, if we got him. Yep, there we go. Nice. I like that. Again, I wanted to make sure, I when I saw it open like that, I trusted myself, and I... And I was like, okay, he's wide open. I got to hit this. Yeah. Big touchdown by D. Wiggins. That's huge. Again, Derek King's playing well. The offense is doing well. We're, up, we're going to go 20. We're up 20 to 7 now. Feeling good about that. A couple ACC teams ranked on the other division. That's a big thing about this one. It's a coastal division game. That was big. That was a big play. Again, we, we come off those two field goals. You know, we, we needed a touchdown. So, yeah, that's awesome. I love when that works out. That's what you're hoping for all the time. Just a, a receiver to free open based on play call, based on a setup. There we go. Finish off the quarterback. So, yeah, this is great. There's Rousseau, Rousseau and Roche. Well, 15 and 2. 
They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. And he's got his receiver. It's a little arm center. tackle missed by Zach McLeod, but that's all right. McLeod's coming off that 12 tackle game. I'd like to see that. And I think that's what I'm going to do after this game, after because this is the fifth game of the year. Got to get this tackle. There we go. Ivy Clinton finish it off. Fourth down. They got to punt this, hopefully. Guys, we're on a roll. This is great. But after the fifth game, I, I kind of want to maybe do some update on the stats. Uh, maybe the AP Top 25. Show you guys that maybe we're going to be in Heisman contention. I don't know. I know we had some interceptions. Oh, that'd be great to be able to squeeze out of that. But that's okay. Another solid 11-yard return. We'll take it. Yeah, Deary. Wow, he's over 200 yards already. We still have four minutes to go in the quarter. I'd love to just keep this thing going. I don't want to get ahead of myself and think this is going to be a blowout, but things are looking really good right now. Oh, my goodness. I want to step up in the pocket, but... That's a time where I need to stay back. My tackle didn't latch on. Again, we've got Nelson over at right tackle, number 60. I don't know if that was his fault, but I assumed he was going to block him. He's under pressure. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, 222 yards. That's a tough one to get hit there. Obviously, i got to throw that away sooner. I thought I hit it right in time, but... Just give up on that play and get ready for the next It's okay. Down. That's the thing when I roll out, like, it's tough for the lineman to hold on. He's gonna try and scramble. There. And he hits oh, it happened again. What a terrible what a terrible sequence that was. Guys, fourth and oh my gosh. After the sack, it's now that one hurts. I definitely needed the sands of time on that one. My goodness. Okay, not every drive is going to be perfect. Not everything's going to be perfect with the offense. We are on a roll. A couple touchdowns, a couple field goals, our first four drives, and then that drive happened. My goodness, that was terrible. I know I can't let him get a sack like that. That's all right. It's all good. Oh, these options. Oh, my goodness. That option is so tricky. Okay, so they are running it quite a bit. Got this 20 to 7 lead. Feeling good. Man. Okay, now they're they've got some runs going now. Okay. Yeah, other than that crazy quarterback run, I still don't know how that happened. But um okay, we gotta get our <laughs> get our defense back into play. That's it. Oh my goodness. He's at the 30. That was bad. That was a bad play call, and then I couldn't audible fast enough. Yeah, we're calling timeout. I, yeah. They're going hurry up, and it threw my defense off big time. Again, this is, that's the second timeout. i got to be smart in the first half. I feel like you're always trying to, like, I feel like uh, at least I am. I always want to, like, hold timeouts the way you do in the second half. But I feel like you can use them in smart, smart situations. And we needed one there. Oh, we had two guys take him. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this has been a... Uh, things have changed so much. We're up 20 to 7 with the ball. Take those sacks. Now they're running down our throat. Blades. Oh, my goodness. And they scored. Okay. Okay. Do you guys think I got a little ahead of myself? I promise I didn't, but man, I was feeling great at 20 to seven with the ball, that nice play to Wiggins. But hey, it's an ACC game. Georgia Tech doesn't want to be blown out. Eight rush, eight pass. It feels like it's running a lot. That balance is something to watch though. Okay, here we go. So we got, let's see, 227 before half. Let's go ahead and punch in a touchdown. In a game 
that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. I don't know the most. I, I, I don't know if we've scored 28 and a half yet. First half. This is a good. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. Oh my goodness. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second. So I don't want to throw an interception. I definitely don't want to take 11 yard sacks. I've got to throw that away. It just came out late. There we go, Cameron Harris. Yeah, I know when you get to the the in, the out to the outside like that with a close on it, you can throw the ball away. And I swear, I, you know, it's one of those things you do it, but it's just too just a touch too late. Third and eight. This is manageable. Get over, oh, fourth and two. Should I go for this? Is that crazy? I wish you guys were right now. Should I go for it or not? Is this is this crazy? I'm up twenty to fourteen. I want, I want to score again. I know this is crazy. I don't like. I really don't like how things are going. So I'm trying to erase how that those last few plays have been going. Did he get it? Oh, <laughs> I don't know if he did. First and ten, but which way? Oh my gosh. Are they going to replay that? This spot? I almost took another sack. Do you guys see that? Are they going to replay this? Are they just like... They're going to they're gonna call it right here, right when I get to the line. Oh, I, I think we're good. We're in the clear. Okay. Oh, got him. Let's go. There we go, D. Wiggins. Good juke. Oh, my gosh. I wanted that last juke to get the last defender. Look at that. That's huge. That's why you go for it on fourth down. I don't know. That's crazy. Wiggins off that jam, showing that long speed. Derek King on that run and gun. Hitting guys on the run. Not a huge fan of this play. Get out. Yeah, but that's good. 59 yards, I think it was, it said. Okay, here we go. We get a touchdown here. I'm going to feel pretty good about the half. I know it wasn't perfect, but we're over. I saw we were over 300 yards. That's great. We got to get a touchdown, though. We need scores. Get in. Get in, Brevin. I think we're at the one, two, one yard line. Let's just let's give King in. Let's do a sneak. Again, I always cross my finger. I don't like doing this because that Patrick Mahomes stuff last season, but Here's the eighth play of the I feel like this is a good option for us. This is the time where I'm padding the stats. Not gonna lie, I want to get King some rushing touchdowns. Yeah, he's in. There we go. That's a good first half. This is good. So we go 26-14. I'm gonna go for two here. I don't know if that's a smart decision. I don't have I don't have a guide in front of me to say what you should do. I know you're supposed to take points. I know the first second half thing. I know all that stuff. But I, I want to clean it up. Let's go 28-14 at halftime. I'll feel good about that. It'll make me feel better about those missed opportunities on the field goals. So let's get slants. Pope. Oh, that's not in. Dang. I wonder if okay. All right, maybe I could have hit someone sooner. I didn't see someone open. 3.08 in the score for the first half. Yeah, let's just hold them here. We'll go into break at 26.14. That'll feel good. This has been a good first half. Again, not perfect. I know, guys, it's not perfect. But I'm happy, and that's the most important thing, right? There we go. Finish him off. Good by the defense. Sam Brooks. And yeah, that's a spot I've been mixing up. Brooks and Huff. I want to go 4-3 defense quite a bit here. You're seeing some 3-3-5. Just trying to mix it up. Are they going to they, oh, they gotta run at least one more play? And I'm going to let him do it. I only have one timeout. I couldn't have got the ball back anyways. So, yeah, we'll just hold him here. He's out of bounds at about the okay. 25-yard line. Interesting.
interesting play call by the Yellow Jackets there. Trying to get out of bounds, but that's alright. Hey, who knows? Maybe we can create an interception. I feel like the last few games we haven't had interceptions on defense. Okay, I don't know what happened with that play call. We need to get guys back. They are running. Okay. There we go. 26-14 halftime lead. I like that. Feel good about it. Obviously, we gave up that long touchdown. But other than that, our defense is pretty good. Offense doing well with the pass game. I'm able to use King on the runs, particularly on the outside. So I like that. Not running well under center or uh, with the running backs. And it's just been Harris this time, but but that's okay. I and I again I don't want to abandon the run when I said let's just stick to pass because it's what we're doing. But hey, that's our strength. We need to stick to our strengths. I don't want to be bogged down in trying to get something to work that's just not quite there with this team this season. But I am going to run the ball. I don't I don't want to throw 80 times a game. That's I don't want to turn it into the arena league. There we go, Roche and Brooks. I like that. That's a good little. Maybe that's a good thumbnail, those two. But yeah, Arena League. Any guys Arena League fans? Drop in the comments if you are. Maybe I can come out with maybe that'll be a series. Coming out with some new stuff all the time. Trying to give you guys something. And again, um, I've really, you know, the, the thing is I've really enjoyed doing these series, not just for something to do or anything like that. Trust me. I am enjoying it because I'm seeing that you guys are having fun with it. And I'm okay with you guys seeing things differently and wanting to do things differently. Like, I like that. We're all in this together, recruiting. I talked about that earlier. You guys are big help with that. But, but again, I like that you guys are enjoying it as well. So definitely hit the like button. And the reason why I always say with the hit the like button because it helps out the channel in terms of it gets this scene a little bit. It helps out with YouTube. That That's why those things matter and things like that. So, And hopefully you guys checked out that simulation I did against the Georgia Bulldogs. And if you guys like that, get in on there. Oh my goodness, what happened on that? Hazard with another big play. Yeah, if you guys like uh, like that one, you want to see more of those, we can do that too. So, anyways, sometimes so, I wouldn't say I'm not focused, but we got this lead, I'm talking about other stuff, and then all of a sudden I look up and Georgia Tech's down here at the 30. I really don't want a tight game, to be honest. No, a nine for 11. Goodness. Okay, th see, this is what's tricky. Again, I'm going zone because they're passing it more. I'm trying to set something up with... Okay, and now they're running it. I definitely want to do some spy plays at that. Play a little bit more man coverage would help against the run, I feel like. But they're mixing in enough passing that it's making it a little difficult to zone in on one. Like, even if they don't have the players seemingly don't have the players it's still been a little tricky at times okay a little tricky at times this game so yeah it looks like they uh, it doesn't look like they're gonna hike it here but Anyways, we, we got to figure out a way to get our defense a stop here. And again, I'm always curious if there are guys you want to see more of or less of. I think you guys, if you've been following InsideTheU.com lately, you've seen some positive comments about the secondary, particularly with Christian Williams. It comes out that Blake Bar Baker said he was starting two or three times during the spring of those four practices, said he was having a really good spring, emerging, um, I think that's someone, if that's, a, you know, essentially, if that's going to continue, that's certainly something you, you like to hear because of his size and length. And he's level at the five -yard line. You definitely like hearing stuff like that. And again, and then I had an article about Javante Dean, sat in with uh, Mike Rump on a film session last season, and he became a fan of Corey Couch. Check out the article there. So again, some pauses with the secondary. 
Jafari Harvey, he doesn't play much for us, but when he does, he makes big plays. I like that, man. Get, when he gets in there, make a play. I love that. J Jalen Phillips does that too. That's why I started him for a little bit. And maybe I need to go back to that. It just feels like Roche doesn't make a ton of plays on this game. We got to get that. All right, third and goal. Oh, my goodness. Okay, big play here. In control, but it's all about the scoreboard. And if they, man, if they get a touchdown here. We are going to be in a dogfight for the second half. That's why this is big. Okay, here. Get it close on that. There we go. I like it. John Ford. There we go. And also, uh, Coach Banda was saying um, he's excited about Bubba Bolden coming back from full. He'll be full go whenever they get started again, coming back from his injury. So that's a positive sign. And there's been reports we, we've heard from coaches saying he would have gotten in there in the spring, most likely. So that's obviously good to hear, too. And I think you guys know, I've said it before, I would like to see Bubba Bolden and Gervin Hall be the starting safeties at Miami. And I don't, I particularly, um, I think what, I like what they both bring with the range. Um, you saw Gervin, he was second on the team in tackles last year, so you see that tackling ability. I don't think Bubba's um, quite that tackler, but what Bubba brings is that athleticism, that 6'3 range. Um, he's got to be getting close to 200 pounds, but I like his range. I like his ball hawking ability. I think he could have a big interception season and affect the pass game, and I, and I like that with the safeties. Amari Carter, um, you know, essentially he didn't play as much sometimes, but, you know, his production, he's known for his tackling and his production with his tackling wasn't what you would like to see last season. So that's one reason why I'd like to see them move on. I just think you're getting more athleticism, a little bit more playmaking ability with Bolden and Hall. But we'll see how it goes. Okay. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, like, this would be a good time to get the run game going just to balance it out. But eight carries, three yards. Again, some of them, maybe I'm missing holes on a couple of them, but oh, my goodness. Okay, so we switched up our O-line. Okay, we got a punt. I mean, I know I went for it before, but 4th and 2 is way different than 4th and 15. Backed up way back here. That's out. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, so what I did also, uh, Donaldson's a, the center. moved him there. Rivers and Scaife at guards, and then Nelson at tackle. That's how it rounds out. Again, Isaiah Walker, you're just joining us. He's making his Miami debut, starting at left tackle. Gives us another freshman in there. That's what I'm hoping. Him and Rivers. Um, we might take some growing pains this year, but I think it's a. I think in 2021, both those guys could be two of our better guys. So I'm excited about that. Hopefully they. Oh my goodness, nobody's out there. We are struggling against the option right now. I'm struggling with the play call. Again, I don't want to be sitting back in zone on on these uh, potential runs. I'm picking some spy plays. Oh, my goodness. They get a pass there. It feels like if I go man, they'll pass. If I go zone, they run. Maybe that's what they're doing. Oh my goodness. Oh, and he scored. This guy is killing us. I was right there on the play. It is so difficult to figure out who has the ball on those options. My goodness. Man, I was right there, but even still, I just got to clean out the guy. We got to close in and on better. We can't allow him to run like that. So yeah, 20 to seven with the ball, feeling great. And now we're 26, 24, minus five yards on offense. Not feeling great, that's for sure. Okay, but hey, we've done so many good things in this game. We just need to stay out in front. And catch it, 
Oh, it dropped. Yeah, this has certainly been a different, um, I don't know, it's been weird. And sometimes when games get like this, I, I'm kind of just ready to be over them. Like, we got the lead, okay, we established ourselves, let's just kind of take it in. But again, I know it's four quarters. I'm switching these hot routes. I, I want to make sure, I want to go, do, see Peyton there? He's covered. Oh, catch the ball, man. Dang. I want to go Peyton. I was trying to get a matchup to go deep, to go over the top like we did earlier. But um, he had two guys on him. But anyways, Harris has to catch that ball. Okay, third down. We need a play. Oh, this is risky. Oh, my goodness. I know that's risky, but, man, Mark Pope, three for 50. It feels like every time he catches the ball, it's a huge play. Man, we need... You want to say a big play? We needed that in the worst way. Struggling a little slow on offense. Oh my goodness. Can we pick up the blitz? Can we pick up the blitz? Okay. All right. Get to the outside. Somebody come back. Somebody come back. Nobody's come, coming back. Oh my goodness! I got I got to do a, a different check down there, I guess. But it would have been nice if one of those receivers would have just turned around. Okay, here we go. Another third down, third and ten. Let's see if we can get to the sideline, over the middle. Get out there, Hartley. Yep, that play worked earlier. I think first quarter felt like first drive. That play right there. Got again, got to time it just right. As soon as he's on that break, got to let it go. Trust that I'll get out there, and he did. So there we go. Big third down. Okay, this is we can't afford any field goal stuff anymore. Got a man. Watch out here. Get, I need a little bit more speed out there. Okay. Not big in the run game, but 44 yards in receiving. We'll take it. Second down. Let's go slants again. We've got to get touchdowns. We're two for four since we've been in the red zone. We're in it again. We've got to go three for five. Okay. Get out there. Get out there. You're on it. You're on it. You're on it. You're on it. Yep. Get in. Yes. There we go. That's what we needed. Again, run and gun. I like it. Jeremiah Payton. Loving it. He's having a breakout season. Look at that. Run and gun. I love it. We're going to keep that. We're going to keep that going. There we go. That's all we needed. It's a nine point lead. I like it. Nine points, though. Standing out to you about that time I went for two. Kind of feels like it'd be nice to be up by 10 right now. Yeah, some incompletions, a couple drops. Haven't had the ball as much. But again, got that touchdown when we needed it. Got those big third downs when we needed it. That's, that's nice to see Jordan Miller out there in pass coverage. Goodness. 12 completions, 98 yards. I'd love to get an interception here. Holy smokes, who just got trucked? Christian Williams just hyping him up, and he just got trucked. Oh, my. That's so deflating when that happens. All right, four fingers up, guys. 33-24. I like where we're at. I feel good about it. Haven't always felt great about these fourth quarters going into some of these games, not going to lie, even though we're undefeated. But this is one I feel good about, even though they're moving the ball a little bit. But we're kind of doing pretty good on offense with our passing game. Makes it out to about the 40. Okay. This – I – okay. This option stuff. I'm trying to think if anyone else is going to run this. We're right there. Oh, my goodness. It's like one of the problems is we're getting one guy in, and if he's not able to make the play, the guy's able to get a bunch of yards. That's just what happened on that play. Like, it feels like our linebackers aren't 
um, converging enough on the right play. Again, overrunning that quarterback. I know Miller got the tackle. Man, I... I just missed him. So he's over 100 yards. Okay. There we go. There's Kristen Williams. They both trucked each other. My goodness. If we could just get one turnover. One turnover. Now would be a good time. If we get a turnover, get a touchdown. 40 to 24. That sounds like a great plan. All right, this dude, Tobias Oliver. Okay, we got to. Okay, third down. This is it. We need to stop. We need to turn over. 114 on the ground for him. Still cannot get over that first play, though, that touchdown run. Okay, that's a long time ago. Right now, fourth quarter, we got to get that. This hurry-up run game is killing us. But I don't want to call timeout like I did earlier. I, I don't. I, we got with a close enough game. I want my timeouts at the end. I feel like our guys are tired though. Oh my goodness. Dylan, the tight end. Okay, all right. Again with that. <laughs> I should have kicked that extra point. I do not like where this is at. 33-31. I wish we were up by three and not two. But uh, it is what it is, right? Again, I said at the beginning. Okay, hold on. I said at the beginning that... Although we're 4-0, I'm not counting on an undefeated season this year. But I, in saying that, I'm not ready for it to end right here. I'm not ready for it to end right here when so many good things were going on. Feels like a lot of effort for five yards, but hey, we're going to keep moving here. I'd love for that D Wiggins to open up again that play. We'll take that Jeremiah Payton. Another big game for him. Over 400 yards for Derek. I like it. We got to get this win though. We'll worry about stat stuff later. Oh my goodness. I want to get to that sideline, but it converged on him. We'll worry about stat stuff later. I'm not even going to pay attention to it anymore. 33-31 is all I care about right now. Trying to, there we go, move up the slot. I'm trying to get a guy in motion, but we'll scoot him over. Get up. Oh, he's in. Oh, my goodness. Loved it. D. Wiggins, my goodness. That is a huge play. Man, this dude has been so clutch this year. Man, he's been unbelievable. D. Wiggins, oh, my goodness. I was trying to give him a chance again. He's got that height on the outside. There we go. Oh my goodness. That was such a big play. I can't even. I can't even. 40 to 31. Okay. We just need one stop and we walk away with the win. Yeah, we just got to get a stop and, and we can we won't be 2-0 in the ACC I can relax a little bit maybe I'll just pound the run game the rest of the way I'd love that what we got to finish that oh my goodness 18 yard run it should have been a yard
Yeah, some of this is play call. Some of this stuff is just missing some tackles. But then there's stuff like that where it's like, okay, there we go. It's interesting they're going with the run game, though, here. I'm not going to lie. Late in the game, down by nine. I really hope that that point doesn't make a difference. There we go, third and seven. Needed that. Surprising to me that the secondary was in such good position. I thought the play call had him fooled at first, but a nice play by the D. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. It's a big play. We, we could definitely use a sack here. Turnover, something. Let's go, defense. Gets it out in a hurry. Interception. How in the world did he catch that? He's at the twenty. Oh my goodness, are you serious? Jerry Howard Jr. is killing me. What in the world? Who is this guy? This, oh my goodness. Okay, maybe hold him to field goal. There we go. Nice play by Bubba Bolden. Read that well. Again, get to the quarterback, get to the running back, close them both off. Blade server was good. That was good to get off the block there, so he would have been ready. Again, not worried about stats. Move that off the screen. Let's make a play here. Where's it? Get there. McLeod. There we go. Finish him off. There we go. Get the quarterback. Get the running back. Tackle them both. Can't o Cannot overrun anyone. No missed tackles here. Got to go goal line. Get set. Get set. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Okay. 40 to 30, 38. Okay, okay. Guys, I knew this season was going to be a grind. I didn't know this game was going to end up this way, the way that it was going, but it is. Hey, we came up clutch against Clemson. There we go, get out. Oh, my goodness. I thought, I thought that was it. I thought the one was going to break. I feel like we were down against Michigan State, pulled that one out in the fourth quarter. We're not trailing here. Been in control, but 40 to 38. We Okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. We've got to do this. Okay. Got to be smart. Oh, oh my goodness. You know, that was risky, but, man, that should have been a completion. Only at the end, right there when he, when he came back for it. Okay, got to be smart here. Cannot turn the ball over. Brevin Jordan, huge play. Five catches. I always feel like it needs to be a lot more. But again, we're not trying to feed guys. Here we go. Okay, we got... Okay. Yeah, we got to get Harris in a different situation. Got him deep. Got him deep. Got him. Oh, no. No. I thought he had the step. I tried to loft it. Maybe I had to wait a little bit because there was separation. I swear there was a little separation. Maybe I just had to wait a touch longer to throw it closer to the end zone. I was trying to... T oh, my God. Okay. Our defense. I can't get shook. We just have to get a stop here. That's a tough play on the interception, though. That was our first turnover of the game. Came out an awful time. Got to close. Get out there. There we go. They're still running it. Okay. I don't want to... We just have to be careful with our timeouts here. And by the way, I was looking... We were leading the country in rush defense coming into the game. But we have struggled here. 
Oh my goodness. Jordan Mason. Now he's over 100. This has not been a good. Okay. All right, defense. Somehow, some way, we've got to get a stop. Got to get a turnover. Somebody come up big. McLeod. Oh, my God. Oh, boy. Yeah, pump up the crowd. Let's try that. Yeah, nobody's hyped. Okay, I understand. Things aren't looking good for us right here. We need the crowd. That We need everybody's support. If you guys are in, got to show your support right now. I should not be I should not be stressed out, but I kind of am right now. I'm okay with I, I'm okay with however the season plays out. I'm okay with losses. I do not think this should be a loss. We've played so well. We've got to get the result. Close. There we go. Oh my goodness, that was such a huge play, Jalen Phillips. We gotta get, we gotta start him next week. He's just making too many plays. We got Harvey in there. Okay, so guys are tired. Okay, Harvey, third and 11. Get in there. Get in there. Yes. Gosh, he's been huge this game. That was such a big play. That's what we needed, the defense. Oh, they are going to kick a field goal. How far out are they? This is forever. How f oh. We got to call timeout because they were just going to wind it down and we would not have any time left. 40 to 38 from the 38 so 50 look like 55 56 yards no way he makes this no way nope no way okay oh my goodness that was a little stress I thought with the sack they were gonna have to go for it but they okay now our run game this is where we've got to run the ball Hit the blocks, get out there. Good, good, nine yards, that's huge. Okay, they call a timeout. They've got two left. We've got to get a first down. Get there, yep. Five yards, let's keep it moving. Okay, one more. Yeah, that should do it. Okay, all right. So that's our last timeout. 59 seconds left. Second down for us. I know I could kneel it. I don't like to kneel it. You guys want to see me run the ball a little bit, right? Let's see if we, I'm not running an option. Let's not get ridiculous, guys. That would be a disaster. Could you imagine? Okay, anyways, let's go toss. Toss left. Let's see if we can get some yards here. Get out there on the... Get out. Oh, my goodness. I don't like how it does that sometimes, that little stop. That's not what I'm trying to do. Okay, so third down. Essentially just run out the clock. We're going to walk away with the win here, but. If I could sneak out some points, I'd love that. How great would that be? Okay, let's see if we can get a run here. Block, get out, sight your speed. Oh, that's, oh, I think he got tired or something. My goodness. That's all right. I gotta be man. If he would have fumbled there, and they were oh, I'd have threw the controller out the window. Okay, I'm gonna let this wind down and see if I can get one last crazy pass play. You guys probably want me to kneel. I do not want to kneel it. Get that? Okay. Now that I think about it, I probably shouldn't have done that. There's four there's four seconds left. Okay, they're at the forty five. I didn't really realize where we're at on the field. I thought it would take more time off. Okay, this cannot happen. We've gotta get 
We've got us. Okay, get in there. Yeah, there we go, Russo. There we go. I wasn't too worried, but probably shouldn't play it that close. But anyways, guys, 40 to 38. We'll take the win. 5 and 0. Oh. Felt good about it. A lot of positives. Clearly we need to clean up some things on defense. But uh yeah, Derry King, 466 total yards and five touchdowns. He was big time. He's got to get his name in the Heisman consideration. There he is right there. Could have been even more on the rushing yards. We had some good runs there. Took too many sacks in that sequence. But overall, I feel good about it. Again, focus on the positives. Work to get better. Work to improve. I appreciate everyone for showing your support. If you stuck to the end, you saw me pull out a, a tough one somehow. That's that play that we saw earlier. But again, hit the like button if you guys like this series. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you don't miss anything for the next episode. And follow InsideTheU.com for all your coverage of the Miami Hurricanes. Thanks again for watching, guys.